All right, in this video, we're gonna cook something up from scratch. I'm not really sure what type of beat I wanna make, so I'm just gonna spin a wheel and let that decide. For most of my dart beats, I like to start with a piano and Spitfire Audio have just dropped their new Autograph Grand Piano, so I'm gonna be using that. Obviously, because we're making a dart beat, you're gonna to wanna to be in one of the minor scales, and for this beat, I'm in the key of D sharp. When you're making dart melodies, you're gonna to wanna to focus on these half step or semitone intervals. Doing this is gonna help you build some suspense in the loop and stop it from sounding so melodic. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just place down a regular triad. From here, I've got the option to either move the A sharp up or the F sharp down, so I'm just gonna test them both out and see how they sound. All right, I think we're gonna use both of them. So for the first chord, I'm just gonna move this A sharp up. Then again, I'm just gonna take this chord and copy it across, but this time I wanna move the root note down. Then yeah, I can literally just copy this again, just move the root note down by one semitone, and this time we'll move the F sharp down. I think I want some more low end in this, so I'm just gonna double up these root notes an octave down. All right, next I'm gonna go in on top of this and put down a counter melody. I don't really think too much when it comes to making counter melodies. I just stick to the notes that are already in my chords and then use these half step intervals as much as I can. Now because I've added half time, you can't really hear this top melody, so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it out to a different instrument. Next, I just want to get a layer of vocals in and then we can start adding some drums.
Next, I need to split this pattern by channel and start arranging it. Recently, I've been keeping the intros and my beats quite short, so eight bars is gonna be more than enough. First, I just wanna take all of this and copy it across, and then I can get rid of all of the drums from the first half. Even though this intro is gonna be short, I still want the elements to build up, so I'm just gonna drag this pad back as well as the guitar. Then to add some emphasis to the drop, I'm just gonna take all these patterns and shorten them a bit. Next, I'm gonna jump over to the mixer and add a filter to the melody bus, which I'll use to sweep the intro in. So all I'm gonna do here is create an automation clip for the frequency. Next, I need to structure out a hook and I usually like to have these 16 bars long, so I'm just gonna copy this pattern across. In the middle of my hooks, I always like to have a break too, so I'm just gonna take out some of the drum elements and then bring them back in later. Towards the end of my hook, I like to gradually start taking out drum elements to make the change from high energy to low energy a bit more smooth. Right, so now I've got my intro and my hook, I just need to structure out a verse. And for the most part, what I do here is just take my hook, copy it across and strip it back to make a low energy version. So straight away, I'm gonna take the kick out and I'm also gonna drop out some of this percussion. Next, I'm just gonna make this hi-hat unique so I can simplify it a bit. And I'm also gonna make the 808 unique so I can do the same thing. For the first half of this verse, the vocal can go and so can the guitar and I'll bring them back in on the second half. Then also coming back in on the second half is a simplified version of the kick. For beats like this, where my hook and verse are both 16 bars in length, I like to introduce an eight bar bridge and for this beat I'm just going to take the intro and copy it across. The only thing I will do is make the automation clip for my filter unique so the effect isn't so extreme. And yeah, that is gonna bring us to the end of the video. Let me know how you think the beat turned out in the comments, and if you'd like access to the FLP, then you need to be a member of my Patreon. I'll leave some links to that in the video description. If you'd like to know more about how I make my drum patterns, and I'll leave a link to that video up here, then I'll let YouTube recommend you a video down here. Big shout out to anybody that made it all the way to the end of the video. I've been Error. thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one.